Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here on Lake Huron. We've got the Spark. We're doing some testing. I've got my uh, iPad tablet here, and I've got Lychee running on it via um, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to try this. I had pretty good luck with the iPhone last time around. So I want to try it with the iPad, kind of experiment with it. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this up and out. So I've already checked. However, I'm good to go. 10 miles visibility. Done my maintenance checks. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to confirm takeoff. And again, good news is we have takeoff. We have video recording running. And we have a very big screen to look at. It's a little bit dark. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, definitely usable. So part of it, I do have my polarizing sunglasses on. So let's go ahead. And let's take this out over the ice. Eh, wondering why it's uh, trying to get my fingers on the correct stick orientation. And we're taking it out that way. And... I'm going to hang in there a minute. Something happened. I lost uh, part of my video. Uh, although I do have cached maps on this, which is rather nice. And so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kind of make sure the beach is clear. Kind of do some flying down this way. And just see how it does. Just kind of mosey that way. So far, so good. I just had a blip. I don't think it actually lost connection, but something happened where it didn't uh, didn't register everything correctly. So I'm just kind of walking down the the water over there. I was really hoping for some more uh, ice today. So uh, past couple days we had quite a bit of ice, but it was warm. So I thought ice from the uh, upper lake would have broken off and be kind of bunching up down here. Um, it might be oh, down at Lighthouse Beach. The next beach down but uh, usually when the weather gets warm like this it gets too many people down there and so this one stays pretty open so again just kind of walking down the water so uh, this seems to be working pretty good uh, a lot better than uh, well so far I want to knock on wood I'm getting out there I want to see you know if I get out there around 167 or so meters that's when it broke down the last time or I lost connection, so I want to see. I'm at 136. I also want to see how the screen recording is working on all these uh, Apple devices, because that would be great to standardize just on the um, the uh, iPad Mini or something like that. So, uh, but I'm still I'm still really thinking about it. So we got we got more people going out on the ice. They just I don't know seem to be compelled. Something about ice attracts people, and uh, yeah. Anyways, it just amazes me some some of the things you see. So, anyways, we're just taking it down. It's uh, so I'm out over 240. No loss of signal. No loss of signal. Uh, so really good so far. And uh, we're just taking it down. And. Uh, let me actually just kind of keep going. It's, we're straight down there. And uh, just kind of keeping an eye on it and keeping an eye on the tablet and keeping a line of sight to it. And uh, she's getting down there quite a ways. So, but still, no breakup, no issue. Um, so it's getting about to the end of my line of sight there because I'm not against the horizon. So I'm going to turn this back around and head this back back towards me up this ice sheet. And so I'm at about 62% battery. So again, I want to fly up this ice sheet. So nice views, really nice views coming back up. And maybe you see some of the crazy people out on the ice. Again, they're not too far out, but man, I'd hate to go through that because it's maybe three feet deep or so there. You could run yourself into some problems. Anyways, just coming back up to... 
I say, I, I think it's, you know, that, that uh, clear view screen, I'm really thinking about it, or tablet, or whatever you want to call it, really thinking about getting that, um, and seeing if that, but, but again, if I get that a tell, you know, kind of locks me into, you know, the DJI line, which, you know, is not so bad of a thing, because again, I've been pretty much happy with most of the things, you know, past the phantom 3 standard i was really happy initially with it then started having a lot of problems and then got the spark and have been extremely happy until they broke otg and since breaking otg um i haven't been so happy but uh, i got the mavic now so far i've done a number of flights with the mavic and knock on wood uh really working well and here we come up the beach i want to mosey it over this way and, uh, you know, so I've been real happy with both products, but I wonder, you know, how the Artel product will be too. And, um, you know, also Unique seems to be taken up with some interesting things. I, I, uh, it, Unique has this uh, fixed wing, which I'm really thinking about getting. Um, you know, because doing some fix if I could do fixed wings flights over like here on here, I think that would be really cool. So let's uh let's see. So I'm getting down fifty nine percent battery life. Let's uh let's make sure I got it going the right way. Let's let's take it up here and then we'll bring it back home. We had another blip right there. But I don't think it lost connection. I'll have to look at the, the video because I'm trying to keep line of sight on the copter. Uh, so we're seeing that, that ice. And just kind of keeping track of my battery, everything. And look at that ice just hanging around out there. Staying away from the geese, especially with this one. And so I'm starting to get down there. I'm going to spin this baby back around and bring her back home. So I'm going to bring it back down this way over the ice. And need to keep her back around this way. So far, the... Uh, the iPad is the big winner here, so this has been uh, probably the best so far. So again, I'm thinking maybe I'll give the iPad Mini a try, pick up a used one off of eBay, and give that one a shot, give that a shot, and see how that works. And then that way if I don't, don't like it, I can use it for something else, or put it back on eBay, or sell it with the Spark, or do something, I don't know. Because I really don't want to sell the Spark. I really, you know, Spark is really a fun, just kind of go-to flying copter. And so, just kind of taking it down. And so, let's just circle this baby. Do kind of a wide circle back around. And... And then we'll bring it, and then let's, let's bring it back over this way, and we'll bring it down. And let's see, I need to adjust myself, make sure I'm out of the way, and everything else. And... Let's bring it down and back it up a little bit. It's holding real solid today. And let's just put it on the pad. There we go. Nice flight. And so far the tablet, the, the, the tablets worked well. So I've been happy with that. Hopefully I got screen recording, you know, got another great flight of the Spark on uh, Frigid Lake Huron, so great stuff. So anyways, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. What's your preferred tablet, phone, whatever, a choice uh, on this? Uh
me down in the comments below. Again, let me know what's for lunch, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.